I'm Jeff Chandler for the Events Calendar. The Eventbrite Tickets plugin allows us to quickly create events on your WordPress site and associate them with tickets over on Eventbrite.com. Before you can use it and start adding tickets, however, you will need to get your website connected to your Eventbrite account. Since Eventbrite Tickets 4.5, the connection is quick and easy. First, navigate to your WordPress backend and navigate to Events, Settings, and the Integrations tab. As you can see on your screen, we're already here at that location. Then you'll click on this button. Mine, I've already connected my account, but when you click it, it will say connect to Eventbrite. When you click it, you'll be redirected to a page that looks like this, and you'll want to select the allow button. Once you click allow, your site will be connected and you'll be redirected to your imports page where you can import your first event, and that looks like this. And that's it. From there, you're ready to begin creating events. If you're unsure how to get started, check out our Eventbrite Tickets new user primer article, which will be linked to in the video description below. However, we're not through yet. In the next section, we'll go over the settings for Eventbrite Tickets. In Eventbrite Tickets 4.5, we added the ability to import Eventbrite Tickets with our Event Aggregator tool, which you'll find at Dashboard Events Imports. To import events and display tickets on your site, select the Eventbrite Import Origin. We would click on events, click on import, and here you could see the import origin. And you would simply click the drop down and select Eventbrite. And here's where you would put in your information. Events imported with Event Aggregator's other URL option will not display tickets. You can modify the default status, category, and show Google Map options for your imports by navigating to WP Admin, Events, settings and click on the imports tab and here you'll see all of the various options and settings that we have here we have global import settings we have event update authority you can place a import quantity limit here's your csv import settings the event bright import settings where you can control the default status in the event category in the show map area and also note that your Eventbrite imports will obey the Event Update Authority settings. We have an article about that that we will also link to in the description below. If you need to remove authorization from Eventbrite.com, visit Events, Settings, Integrations, and select the Remove Authorization button. So as you can see on my screen, I'm here at the place I'm supposed to be in the back end. Look for Eventbrite. Look for the big orange button. And then to the right of that, you'll see Disconnect. Click on the Disconnect button or in this case, link, and there you go. You'll be disconnected from Eventbrite. If you encounter any issues or need help connecting your site to Eventbrite, please contact our support team.